Hello everybody, this is Greg Huffman, or Greg Sia Huffer, as my channel is called, <laughs> right now at least. Uh, and I want to talk about this book, it's called, I, I never know exactly what to call it. Some of them say DK Publish, which is like Doris Kinderling, but those are frequently associated with kids. Um, but I've also had big ideas, DK's big ideas, so it's hard to, oh, like whenever I'm recommending it, it's hard to know exactly what to call it. But they always have a certain topic, this one's called The Crime Book, and I love... All, like any DK book, I don't care what subject is on, I'll probably read it. Um, but I just love how they do it. They put all little quotes associated with what you're going to read. And you'll see these in the book, and they'll come up for certain crimes. So, I, again, with a frequent, well, I shouldn't say frequent, I'm just starting this, but I haven't even finished this book yet. I have another one, I think it's called the, the book on, like, the women book or something. So it's like women's history in there on this, but, um, so... There's Doris Payne. She was a thief, I believe, was what she is. And uh, so I'll just show you kind of how the book is. Like, I love just, like, it has pictures, of course. But I just love the actual design. Like, the illustrations are just so cool. And how they, like, show you, um, for a criminal, they have little blurbs. And just, like, you know, their little graphs. And whatever they show is just awesome. I just love all of these DK books. Like, you can never go wrong with a DK book. So... There's Foulon Devi. I don't know much about her. I read that, uh, but I haven't heard about her. Oh, yeah, and see, uh, they'll do little sections. Like, look, this is on D.B. Cooper. And if you see D.B. Cooper, 42, well, that's the meaning of life. All right, no, getting off topic. I didn't do it that way. But it shows the whole timeline, you know, for, like, where the events happen and stuff. And D.B. Cooper is one of the most fascinating cases, so it's kind of cool to see him in here. And these, <laughs> uh, they'll do little uh, introductions to things. Miss, you better look at that note, which is uh, when he gave the airline attendant the uh, a note uh, to, like, look at. But she didn't look at it right away, I believe was the case. So he's like, this is important, you need to look. And then the smart thing about him is he actually asked for four parachutes because... Um, the reason why was because if he just sends one, they could sabotage it, but it implies he might take a victim with him. So if he takes a victim with him, this is on the Great Train Robber, then they're not going to sabotage it because that means they'd end up killing somebody. So it's a fascinating case about this. I do like true crime. It's interesting how it's become more of a, a female uh, genre, or yes, genre. It's mostly subgenre, but I was thinking of uh, I've been watching Heist recently, which I think is uh, uh, more of uh, the male version of true crime. Probably I don't, I don't think even I find Heist kind of boring though, but some people are into them. But then if you get introductions to certain sections, like there's a certain section, I guess one's Bandit Robbers and Arsonists. It'll show you a little timeline of events, and then oh, there are right, I do have to show something else. Um, should I show the introduction? Why the, the crime? But I'll show the little beginning. Here's the contributors. Penguin Random House DK, of course. And here's the contents of the book. So you can kind of see this and white collar crimes, con artists, blah, 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 organized murder. Now, I haven't got to serial killers yet, but I know so. I've studied serial killers so much that I kind of know uh, just so much about them. I'm sure I'll still learn a few things, though. Um, so, does they have Israel Keys in here? He's pretty fascinating for new serial killers. Actually, I recommend this. No, I was about to say Sig Sigal, who isn't even really a serial killer. Um, uh, Bella Kiss. Bella Kiss and Bell Gunnis are known. They're serial killers. They're only two serial killers where they knew their real names. They still got away with everything. So, I want to find a certain section that I was looking at. Oh, yeah, so here's one. Uh, so here's a bank heist, like I said. I'm not you. I'm not huge in the heist, but I have been studying them a little bit recently just to know a few. There's an MMA fighter. His name is Lee Murray who was involved in, uh, the 2006 Securitas Kent UK, which I think is fascinating. He fought Anderson Silva, and I saw that, and I learned later he was, um, Involved, uh, oh yeah, I should show a little bit of me anyway. So, so I have my beautiful f face on camera in this video. <laughs> I got these new glasses anyway. Of course, that's apropos of nothing, not germane to this discussion. Anyway, um, so, oh yeah, it was uh, Lee Murray. I don't know if they, I don't think they mentioned him in this book because I've got through the highest part, but he was involved. He was a serial, not a serial killer, he was a um, MMA fighter who fought uh, one of the greatest. UFC fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, it wasn't in UFC, but it was another league. And then he went on, into, that was in like 2004, maybe, and in 2006 he went on to uh, rob a bank, and it was like one of the biggest in history. Um, Alright, I'll go back to the book, though, I just felt like I had to get my token look at me shit in. Alright, so here's an interesting thing, uh, they show you like what is... Fame bank vault heist, and they'll show you before the events. Like this is before the history. And this is something, and after it's other similar crimes. So it's cool. It connects these crimes, and so yeah, let's see if I can get a little bit. And let's see if there's any other interesting. 
I mean, I'm sure there is, but... Like, alright, I'll just go to the section I am on now, actually. I'm reading about the Black Dahlia right now, so I haven't even started this page yet. But, I accidentally marked my book. It's a long story about that. I, had, I was holding a pen, and there's a lot going on. I've been t So, I take notes, usually, and I end up making a mark, and that upsets the OCD in my brain a lot, but it's okay. So, here's a little blurb about Elizabeth Short and her life, how she grew up mad for Massachusetts, and... That, yeah, we'll just... You'll figure... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, and so... There, she was dating this guy, Robert Red Manley, I think. Oh, yeah. And the interesting thing is, exactly 40 years before I was born is when the, it happened, or at least when they found her dead body. Because um, I was born on January 15th of 87, so that's pretty fascinating. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So, that's the look at the crime book. There's way more to be said, but, you know, this is, I, I don't, I'm not giving like an hour. I might eventually give more in-depth uh things eventually I'm testing the waters but I always I shouldn't say always but I've I usually always take notes so I write down names those were mentioned like the timeline I think exorcide which is a vocabulary word it means a uh, wife murder and so I'll take little notes uh, usually a little sp leave a space there but I forgot to this time and this little marker is where uh, it, these are all related to the Black Dahlia so these are all and I uh, I frequently write in cursive but I haven't here um because it's kind of hard with that pen it's uh, it, like kind of like bleeds together fitting bleed blah, blah, blah. I just um so I, I, I try to write in print and my print isn't great because uh, I, I usually type when I write myself I just type things so um when I actually write it's not as good as it could be because my I'm I'm mostly a typer. I, I have type date like I have like a hundred book notes on my computer of just stuff I've done digitally and I don't always take notes on my writings, but I usually do. so these are just a look at my notes. Um and not all of these are related to this there's a whole page I missed. But these are other books I've been uh so there's more than just this book. I and I have other notebooks. I just take I like to take a lot of notes and study certain things and obviously some things get left behind, but uh yeah, so that's this book. Um, so, final conclusion is, hold on, somebody's driving by. I'm basically in the boondocks of Texas, so you don't get a lot of. Uh, oh yeah, it's pretty out here though. Speaking of, see, see the. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. But um, <laughs> just any DK, not this book especially. This book is great. I love true crime. Um, I listen to podcasts on it. I've, I studied since high school back when I was in, I remember 2004, my nickname was The Serial Killer, um, which is also, a, um, there's an MMA fighter with that, uh, Travis Loder. I've bumped into him one time at a jiu-jitsu competition. But um, I I really do like true crime. But dude, even subjects, like, there's a literature book, DK Big Ideas, and I, I'm looking, I haven't ordered it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I've read the philosophy book, economics book, business book. Uh, speaking of, if you like business, Company Guy on YouTube is a guy I highly recommend. Um, but anything, I mean, psychology, sociology, I've read all of those. I, mean, I would even read subjects I really don't even give a shit about, just because the, the, the way these books are designed, amazing. I love them. I can't think of another nonfiction series that's anywhere near as stimulating as this one. I just love the way the books look on the outside and inside, just the way they deliver information is just fascinating, and just, like, yeah, you can't go wrong with the DK Big Ideas book, I totally endorse anybody that bumps across a DK Big Ideas book and wants to get it, they might be a little bit pricey, I think I got this one on sale for like $20, maybe cheaper, um, from, it was this place called Ollie's, they took over where Toys R Us was, which makes me sad, because I love Toys R Us, <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I am trying to resist from just going, like, completely uh, <laughs> off topic. Um, but I think, yeah, that's about wraps it up. All I can say is, you see a big idea, DK Big Ideas book, crime book, yeah, I recommend it. But I just, this is like a full endorsement for the series of books. If you ever see them, purchase it, because it's amazing. And I'll give you one last shot of this awesome book, see? Yeah, you can see all the little cover, all the little quotes, and these all this. Oh, this is the re a reference to the teapot dome, which was a, is that Warren Harding? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, he's twenty ninth president. I can name them all. I used to be able to at least name them all and or like order by number. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Bye.